Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Hi, welcome, and welcome to a bit of an update on where I'm standing now with the actual uh, trains and bits and pieces that I'm building for this diorama. Now, we kick off, we start with the gondola. This has got the uh, flak 38 on it. I think I am correct there, the flak 38. As you can see, it's all been painted. Everything is ready for weathering, but the weathering process is a little bit longer than I anticipated. I was expecting to get through most of the weathering but I haven't it's uh, a little bit more difficult than I expected but there you go that's the way it goes uh, I will explain a bit later on when we look at the train and that because that's what I've really been working on but it's all been sprayed up this one and like I say it's all ready for weathering this particular one will have sandbags in as well I will be doing a video and a little bit of a well a video on the weathering and everything else like that concerning this particular piece as I will be doing with all of them but it takes a bit of time so that's the first gondola so we'll move on now to the second if by one. magic it appears now uh, this is the second flat flatbed flatbed uh, the one with the flat 37 I think I am correct there. This one also needs sandbags uh, and weathering down. It's just been put into paint and it's all ready for weathering. And I'm just taking these one at a time because I don't want to do them all the same. I want to do them slightly different to each other. Might even go over the top of it with maybe a, a darker or even a lighter gray just to get different variations with the different flatbeds but as you can see that's all painted and all ready for weathering so there's not a lot more I can say about that so what we'll do we'll move on to the next one okay the 80 ton flatbed uh, as you can see been assembled and it's been sprayed in its base color this one still needs weathering there is uh, another vehicle to be built to actually go on that I've already got one I'm hoping to actually get two of these support vehicles on end by, ooh, end by end but I've got another one of these to bit to build uh, this is the this one here is the one that I built when I started <laughs> started modeling uh, it's not fantastic but I'm going to uh, make a tarpaulin up to cover this one uh, and the other one as I'm a little bit more slightly more experienced now uh, hopefully I can do the other one uh, being loaded actually on and uh, leave it so you can see it in its full glory so that is the flatbed that's how far that one's come we've not got any weathering done on that one so now we move on to the big beast that sits on the end now moving on to the beast uh, 52 now as you can see I've managed to get it all sprayed uh, the inside has been detailed but we won't go into that just yet basically this is a different another kettle of fish uh, actually doing this because the weathering on it is totally different if you're doing a tank you know you can put rust streaks and chips and throw some mud at the side and it looks pretty cool this is a lot different and it's it's interesting actually it really is uh, a, a challenge should I say it is a challenge now what I'm trying to achieve is this is I'm still working on the base of this is I'm trying to get that metal effect uh, that you seem to get underneath the paint should I say it's it's a, it's a difficult thing to explain but you can actually see the metal through in places and 
I've made a good start. I'm using the AK uh, True Metal and I'm sort of like trying to get a, a, a reasonable base. I'll try and get you in just a little bit closer. That's if the autofocus will play. There we go, a little bit closer. I.e. The, uh, the metal around the outside of the wheels and also the different metals they actually used in different areas like the bronze, I think there might be bronzes and brasses uh, I think even uh, gun metals as well they use on some, some of the castings but it's a yeah. I'm flying this by, I really am flying this by the seat of my pants because I really am uh, well out of my comfort zone on this uh, doing this but I'm not going to give up I'm, I'm still going to head on the way that I'm going like I say this is just the the base uh, there will be weathering over the top of this I'm still trying to find decent photographs uh, especially color photographs there's not many color photographs of actual uh, the bottom half of trains because they're going to be wet they're going to be oily greasy but well looked after by the engineers because they always were and it's getting that balance because I know the bottom half of this is going to be wet but the top half is going to be dry because you got the heat from the boiler and everything else so you don't need that wetness at the top but you need the soot and everything else so it's it's very interesting and if any of you train guys out there have got any reasonable pictures of what the bottom half of, of a train uh, should look like please post them to me I would be very grateful and very interested at the same time but all in all I'm I'm, I'm happy the way it's going uh, I will do I'll try and do some close-up pictures so you can see what mess I've made <laughs> and uh, no don't take the mickey out of me too much because uh, uh, you all have to learn these things and this is this is just another learning curve and I'm enjoying it but I thought I would start with the most difficult thing and then it might make the uh, other vehicles, well, the, the other flatbeds and that, a little bit more easier. I have ordered a, a couple of uh, weathering sets for trains. I don't know if they're going to be any good, but uh, you can but try. So really that's it. That's my update on what's on my bench and I will do uh, further updates as we go along uh, I am putting some uh, small videos together uh, especially when I start the uh, sandbags and that what I'm doing how I'm doing it uh, bits and pieces like that uh, this weathering process uh, I'm keeping that to myself at the moment because I'm I literally am flying it by the seat of my pants and a lot of it's guesstimate work uh, I hope it's sort of going down the right line uh, any of you train guys probably would let me know so that's it that's the end of my update so with that all I can say is thank you very much for joining me uh, look out for other videos they will be coming out uh, in the next month there will be different uh, there are, oh, there's gonna be a couple of builds there's a couple of builds to go on uh, the list as well of uh, builds that I haven't done as yet so look out for them and all I can say on that note is thank you very much for joining me and hopefully we'll see you on the next one
is not a drill. Repeat, this is not a drill. <laughs> <laughs>